Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain is sprawling. There are so many secrets hidden away that it can initially seem overwhelming. Not only are you encouraged to silently trek across the open world, you also need to build a base and accompanying army. After spending more than 70 hours in the game, we've uncovered some helpful advice that will optimize your time and ensure your diamond dogs are up to snuff. Keep in mind that some of the information is redundant for those who played Peace Walker, as this video is catered to those unfamiliar with that game. D-Dog is a stealthy player's best friend. Buddies in Phantom Pain assist during missions, providing you with extra mobility, firepower, and information. As far as we're concerned, D-Dog is the most helpful buddy for players that insist on stealth. He'll automatically mark enemies, prisoners, weapons, and vehicles on the map, eliminating the need for you to do so manually. While Quiet can also mark enemies, she's not as mobile. D-Dog follows you at all times, making sure the surrounding area is always covered. D-Dog will also mark persons of interest, letting you track them down far more quickly, and once upgraded, he can take down soldiers with silent efficiency. You can finish the entire game without ever seeing D-Dog. Be sure to listen for barking upon landing during very early missions. Follow the sound, and you'll see an adorable pup. Extract him with the Fulton recovery device, and once he's fully grown, he'll be able to accompany you. Collect as many medicinal plants as possible during missions. Yet another benefit to bringing D-Dog along on missions is that he'll mark any nearby medicinal plants. These plants can be difficult to track down, especially if you're looking for specific kinds. Plants are consumed when you deploy on missions, and they're also used in the development of new weapons and items. It's better to slowly gather a bunch over time than go through the tedious task of tracking them down at the end. Additionally, plants can be sold as an easy and surprisingly lucrative way of earning GMP. Of course, some plants are more valuable than others, so make sure you don't sell the ones that the base absolutely needs. Don't forget about supply drops. Please, supplies requested. Run out of ammo or suppressors mid-mission? You can call in a helicopter for a supply drop that replenishes whatever you've used up provided you have the necessary resources. During lengthy missions, it can be extremely beneficial to restock tranquilizer rounds so you can continue a stealthy approach, or fill up on missiles during a boss fight. Be sure to call in supplies from a safe location that's easy to reach and won't draw unwanted attention. Interrogate, interrogate, interrogate. Interrogating enemies is one of the most crucial things to do during a mission. Not only do interrogations lead to details about critical objectives, they can also reveal the location of blueprints, highly skilled soldiers, and resources. Blueprints are necessary to develop some of the best equipment in the game, and can be very well hidden. While interrogations are helpful, it's important to be careful when attempting them. You'll want to isolate targets in order to not be seen by others. Another thing we like to do is tranquilize or stun a group of enemies and then knock one of them awake to interrogate. Take time to manage your staff. When you extract soldiers from Mother Base, the game will automatically assign them to an area that best fits their expertise. However, sometimes it's best to manually transfer a staff member to another area, even if it isn't their strongest suit. Say for instance, a new piece of equipment is within reach and you only need to raise your research and development team up a level or two. By assigning people from different areas, you'll be able to make that equipment, potentially giving you an edge during a mission. Once you've developed something, the game doesn't take it away, so after acquiring the desired item, feel free to optimize again. Destroy enemy radar stations for additional landing zones. As you traverse through enemy outposts and camps, be on the lookout for large radar stations. If you successfully destroy them, you'll open up new helicopter landing zones, reducing travel time when you return. Attach C4 to the radar dish, ensure you're a safe distance away, and sit back to watch the fireworks. Explore Mother Base. Return to Mother Base frequently and explore it thoroughly. You'll uncover diamonds, which are converted into GMP and emblem parts, allowing you to further customize your Mother Base logo. There are also shooting galleries to complete that reward you with GMP. Most importantly, Mother Base has some story moments tucked away. We don't want to spoil how to unlock these moments, but they're worth seeking out. Extracting vehicles early will pay off. The Fulton recovery device can be upgraded to not only pick up soldiers and farm animals, but all manner of vehicles as well. It's a very helpful ability since some missions require you to destroy heavy artillery, and instead of causing a commotion with missiles or grenades, you can silently extract the equipment to base for later use. 
you'll want to start extracting vehicles as early and as often as possible. Later deployment operations require specific vehicles and can't be done without them. Considering high-level deployment missions offer bountiful rewards, it's worth being prepared ahead of time so you don't have to scrounge for vehicles later. Keep non-critical tasks in mind. During missions, you'll see obscured objectives in addition to critical ones. Although these optional objectives are revealed once you complete the mission, it's very possible to do quite a few the first time. They typically involve rescuing prisoners or completing an objective in a non-lethal way. Keep this in mind as you're going through the game and you'll snag some extra GMP and maybe even a few highly skilled soldiers. The higher the rank, the better the volunteers. After finishing a main mission, you're given a rank based on performance. The rank is determined by factors such as how many times you were seen, how many enemies you killed, how quickly the mission was completed, etc. The higher the rank, the more likely you are to get better volunteers, essentially soldiers so impressed by your performance that they automatically join Mother Base. Volunteers can easily bolster your ranks, paving the way toward better gear, so it's in your best interest to perform as well as you possibly can. <laughs> Our advice only scratches the surface of the Phantom Pain. Like most Metal Gear games, there are so many tidbits to uncover, and doing so is half the fun. Phantom Pain greatly rewards those who take their time and search every corner. Hopefully, your journey through the game is as enjoyable as ours. And may your mother base prosper.